Today, I'm going to be making the Krusty's Triple Chocolate Chunk Cookie Mix. It says it has three kinds of chocolate. Uh, this was sent to us from Jamesha, so thank you very, very much to Jamesha. Uh, all you need are a few ingredients. You need an egg, and you need one stick of butter. Uh, you need it softened, but not melted. Uh, you also want uh, to heat your oven to 375 degrees, and you want a, uh, a cookie sheet, and I have put a piece of uh, Reynolds parchment paper on my cookie sheet so you all you do literally is you take this out of the box and then you're we're gonna add our butter and our egg and we're going to stir it together and it says uh, even knead it if necessary can make different size cookies um, the, you can use one rounded tablespoon two rounded tablespoons or you can make bars ooh I didn't even notice that option you could take an 8 by 8 inch pan and make bars that would be even uh, less time consuming and that could be cool to have cookie bars um, you know what I think I'm going to make the cookie bars. I think that'll be the option for me. So I'm going to put this away and I'm going to get my 8 by 8 inch pan out and I'll be right back. So I changed to my 8 by 8 inch pan. I put parchment paper in here. If you don't have parchment paper, you just lightly grease the pan. Um, and you're going to just put all of your cookie mix in the bottom. I love bars. I love the texture of a bar. I like the ease of a bar. So for me, I'd, I'd rather make bars than cookies. I know cookies go further. Um, and cookies are great if you're gonna have like a lot of kids or you're making them for a party or whatever. But for me and Kevin to have them at the house, I would just as soon uh, make bars. So you're gonna press this into the bottom and try to get it as even as you can. These are going to bake for 21 to 23 minutes. I'm going to bake them for 21 minutes at the very low end, and then we'll be back. This is after 21 minutes in the oven. I'm going to let them sit here and cool, and then we'll come back and cut them. So, I, I don't know how many you were supposed to get. I think you were supposed to get like 23. I don't know. I didn't even count how many I got. But it Actual says, cookies. it says, yeah, if you're making the cookies, um, I don't know how many bars you're supposed to get. It says two tablespoons of the mix, 19 grams is 80 calories. Of course, that's not including the stick of butter, which is like 800 calories. Plus, you've got an egg, which is like 70 or 80 calories. So, it doesn't include any of that. Uh, so, oh, you just got a little piece. That's because it broke. Oh. <laughs> I picked it up, it fell. These are very gooey. Mm. Oh my gosh. Good flavor though. Mm. If you ever watch cookie reviews that we do, mm -mm. these are chocolate chip cookies. One of my favorite brands has a really buttery chocolate flavor. This has a really good buttery oh chocolate flavor. Oh my gosh. Flavor. It has it's a very nice. butter. Yeah. But it, it has that buttery flavor, which is what I want when I'm eating a good chocolate chip cookie. That's five out of five. It's very good. I don't know that I really Delicious. get... I don't get the hit of like three different chocolates and all that stuff. So it just tastes like chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It says it has bittersweet chocolate chunks. Mm -hmm. It has... Uh, it's milk chocolate. Semi-sweet chocolate chunks. And milk chocolate chunks. That's yeah. the chocolate chunks it has. These are made by Continental Mills in Seattle, Washington. Uh, Crusties.com is their website. I think the bars could have baked this a little bit longer. It, they probably could have, but I promise you, I love them. If you like ooey gooey, like almost just well, like just underdone. Yeah, they're just just barely not baked. Like you could take a spoon and just eat it. Oh my god! I mean, you saw I was picking it up. Yeah, I picked my whole thing up. Yeah. 
Um, it says there's a recipe on here for peanut cups and cookies. Hmm. You need this package of the cookie mix. You need one egg and a half a stick of butter. So instead of the whole stick, you only need half a stick. But it says you need 24 small peanut butter cup candies, so Reese's, and salted peanuts are optional. And you're going to make those muffins. into muffins. That sounds really, really good. Cupcake looking things. Um, and then it just gives their story on the side. They've been around since 1932. Um, these are really good. It, they're delicious. They're absolutely delicious. So do you think these are good? Is it the, um, I can never think of what brand I really like. It's got the buttery flavor. Is it Nestle or Toll House? I think it's Toll House. Oh, are you talking about the, the yellow one? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh. Toll House. That's Nestle Toll House. Yes. Yeah. That's the one I like. That's the one that's really super buttery. This is on par with that. Yeah, this this is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Very good. You're it's probably pretty cheap too, because usually that's brands. For these, is it? It's it's, 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 well, keeping, it's, a, it's a nice it's, brand. It's about normal. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice brand. Uh, you could pretty much be safe picking up any crusties. That's and it, it's going to be a, a hit. This is just one of those, I think it's a nicer brand. Yeah, that's true. I'm thinking about something else. Krusty's, Krusty's is about the same price as everything else. Yeah, I don't think it's like really, really expensive, but I don't, it's not really, really cheap Yeah, it's either. like a quarter of a box or anything. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, but saying that, you can find these everywhere. So, you know, you never know. You might be able to find them in the Dollar Tree. I don't know. I, I have not paid attention. Um, but you might be able to but if you see this cookie mix i think it's really nice and i do get like some hints of darker chocolate like right now in my mouth i've got i have um some darker chocolate in there but um you know in my teeth um but it has the milk chocolate with it too so i, I think it balances out well but it makes a really good bar so if you've only bought this and made the cookies I, I like a good bar, so yep. I would try Bar's that nice. too. But you might want to bake them longer. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. So thank you very, very much to Jamisha mm -hmm. for mailing this to us. We greatly appreciate it, and thanks for watching.